Hey guys, it's Dr. Elowad from stepandrun.com and I'll be continuing our series on immunology. In this video, we'll be having a look at macrophages. We'll do a quick brief overview of macrophages, their characteristics and their form as well as a brief look at their function as well. So let's get straight into it. Let's remind ourselves where macrophages come from. Now you remember we have our monocyte which came from our granulocyte monocyte progenitor which in turn came from our myeloid progenitor which in turn came from our hematopoietic stem cell okay and then once we have this monocyte it circulates in the blood and moves into the tissue where it is required and under such circumstances it either becomes a dendritic cell or it differentiates into our macrophage okay so let's compare and contrast between our monocyte and macrophage some of the differences between the two and what they share in common as well and also remember before we move on that these three cells here are part of the ant antigen presenting cells specifically or especially macrophages dendritic cells and then you also have B cells these are your antigen presenting cells your macrophages, your dendritic cells, and your B cells. Okay, so let's have a look over here. Remember our monocytes, as we saw in the last video. If you didn't see that last video, it's okay, we'll do a quick comparison between the two. But if you want more of it in detail, I'd probably advise you to go back and have a look at our monocyte video as well. But um, just comparing briefly some of their characteristics your monocytes, remember 50% circulate in the blood, 50% remain as a reservoir in the spleen and as such they go on to give us our macrophages. So the monocyte moves into the tissue and then divides and differentiates to become our macrophage. And It's the macrophage you see in the tissue, that's where it's located. So the monocyte has this thick kidney shape horseshoe shape nucleus and the frosted cytoplasm whereas our macrophage over here you can see we'll we'll get a bigger picture in the next slide but for now just bear in mind that its membrane is ruffled it has a cytoplasm with vacuoles you can see some vacuoles here and some vesicles and it has this circular nucleus okay so it goes from a kidney horseshoe shape to a circular nucleus and remember both of these cells are part of our innate immune response okay so the monocytes function was to replenish macrophages and dendritic cells as well as phagocytosis and then you'll see our macrophage it phagocytosis cell debris and bacteria it also secretes cytokines and we'll have a look at that later on when we talk about our, our macrophage response in inflammation and it also presents antigen okay again we'll look at how that it does that later on and the macrophage surface marker similar to your monocyte it has the CD14 and CD4 cell surface marker but also bear in mind that our macrophage has a few extra receptors as well now to name a few of the important ones there's also another few that you need to know but some of the important ones we'll just have a look at right now you have your FC receptor which binds to your antibody because remember our antibody has an FC portion and an FAB portion or the, or the FAB portion and the FAB portion is where antigen binds to and this FC portion is where it binds to the macrophage itself so it has an FC receptor for your antibody okay and it also has a C3B receptor. Remember C3B is one of your complements and it causes um, opsonization. So when you have bacteria, C3B binds to that bacteria and it opsonizes it. So macrophages come to the area, it binds the C3B to its C3B receptor, which in turn heightens or enhances phagocytosis okay okay so here we have a comparative slide between 
our monocyte on the left, as you can see the kidney horseshoe shape nucleus, and your macrophage right here. And you can see that dense circular nucleus right there, as well as the ruffled membrane of the cytoplasm and the vesicles and vacuoles. So that's how you would be able to identify your macrophage from its appearance. Because once you see this ruffled membrane, as well as the circular nucleus, the vesicles and the vacuoles, you should know that this is a macrophage. Okay, as well as being able to identify your monocyte on the left. So it should be fairly, fairly straightforward if you get a slide or a picture of one of these two, two cells you should be able to identify each one. Okay, so um, that's pretty much a brief overview of the macrophage. In the next video we'll have a look at resident macrophages because remember we said that our monocyte gives us macrophages in two different states. It gives us our macrophage either in a physiological state or a pathological state. So in the next video we'll have a look at the physiological state which is going to give us our resident macrophages. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.